Hi, I'm Kurt with Infinity Cutting Tools, and today I want to talk with you guys about making a divided light glass cabinet door using one of Infinity's two-piece matching rail and style bit sets and the glass door bit accessory. The glass door bit accessory is designed to work with any of our two-piece matched rail and style bit sets and on material from three quarters to seven eighths of an inch thick. Most people really love a nice divided light cabinet door. It really helps to brighten up a room and add an interesting architectural detail. And there's multiple ways to do it. Um, you can use a very complicated mortise and tenon uh, style, you know, rail and style bit set. Uh, you can use a slot cutter to take off the backside or do it on the table saw. But the glass door accessory bit really seems to simplify the process, especially if you want to use what I'm going to do, or the method that I'm going to show, which is a pinned coped joint. And what that basically does is we're rabbiting off the backside with the bit set, and then once it's joined, we're going to use brads and glue to basically strengthen this joint up. So we're adding a mechanical fastener to work with the glue to really help strengthen it up. And this is perfect for your glass cabinet doors, where we only use an eighth inch glass and you know thinner, lighter glass. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit of how we do this and some of the you know, detailed processes. So the principle of this is fairly simple. What we're trying to do is remove the backside of the sticked or profiled piece. Um, we'll leave the profile on, but remove this part. So what we're creating is a profile and a large rabbit. What that's going to allow us to do is to have a coped end that connects to the stick side and then you'll have a rabbited out area that you can put your glass in. And the way that we're going to strengthen this is we're going to pin these right here uh, in the back and add glue and once it's clamped up and glued up and everything else this will be a pretty strong joint um, because it's got a mechanical fastener as well as the glue fastener. To convert Infinity's two-piece matching style and rail bit set over to the glass door accessory kit is a pretty easy procedure. What we're going to do is we're going to take our profile bit, we're going to remove the nut, bearings, washers, and quarter inch slot cutter. Now you really want to make sure that you follow the order that these came off with and maybe even write it down if you're not sure if you can remember it. Because um, you want to be able to put these all back on in the same order that you pulled them off in. Um, convert it over to the glass door, we're going to add one of the gold washers and thin washers that came with the accessory kit, the half inch slot cutter, the other thin washer, the bearing that came with the bit, and a nut. And for the coping bit, again remove the nut, slot cutter and washers. This time you can leave the thin shims on, add the bearing that came with the accessory kit, washer and a nut again, and tighten down. Now you're really going to want to make sure that you tighten these down in your router bit um, to really kind of be able to have a firm grip on it. Doing it in your hand you just really can't tighten this down enough. So I want to talk really quickly about some of the terminology we're going to use. The vertical pieces are the styles. The horizontal pieces are the rails. The interior parts, we're going to use the term of divider or muntin. This will be referred to as the profile. And the interior edge part will be referred to as the cope. And the cope will insert onto the profile like that. After cutting our rails and styles to desired length, we're going to put copes on the ends of our rails as well as our dividers or muntins. Now to do this, I'm going to use a coping sled, but you can also just do it with a push block behind it. I like to use a coping sled though because it keeps my hands far away from the blade and it makes sure that this is very secured down because we have the clamps that will hold it securely in place. So let me show you how we do that. 
So we're going to insert our rails and dividers into our sled. Make sure you have a blacking block. One of the nice parts about doing your copes first in this scenario is that on the thinner pieces, so your dividers, you're not going to have to worry so much about having to mill out uh, a reverse profile. You can just use a square block. To cut the profile or sticking of our rail or styles, we are simply going to run our piece face down on the surface of the router table. The next step on our divided light doors is to determine the length of the dividers or muttons. What we'll want to do is measure the distance between the rails to give us our vertical mutton, and then to measure the distance between our two styles and subtract the flat on the profile to give us a distance on our two horizontal muttons. So to do the dividers of the muttons, there are two different ways you can do it. You can either cope first and then route your profiles or you can route your profiles first and then cope. So I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm also going to show you how we hold a divider or a mutton in when we're right on the profile because when we go to do the second edge on one it's going to be very very squirrely because we're riding on a very little piece of you know wood here um, and then we're only having a little piece that we actually can keep pressure against so it wants to kind of rock and roll and things like that so we make a little jig such as like this one which has the reverse profile basically it's been coped down the long edge and it holds it into place and then there's a stop on the back um, now if we do it where we are, uh, where our piece is going to be coped afterwards, um, after we've routed the two profiles, what we do then is we make, again, a little piece that's been, you know, had the cope cut out, and then we basically set that up as our little blowout block, and we just lock it into place when we cope through. So, two little ways to do it, and I'm going to show you both. So, what we want to do when we do our cope um, on a piece that's already been profiled, so say that we ran our sticking or profiling first uh, and then we want to cope afterwards, what we want to do is to basically have a little piece that's been coped on the interior across an entire edge and we're just going to slide this right in there and it will lock in very nicely and then we'll clamp it down and then we're just going to run it on through. Now to do the profile or sticking on this, for the first one, you're still going to use your feather boards, or to do the first side, you're still going to use your feather boards and hold downs and push sticks to get this on through. And it'll go through and you've got some meat to ride on so it's not quite as scary. Now going this way, once we lose this, we're re really going to only have a little bit of the surface left. So we want to have something to hold us into place. So simply get your little jig and you can see it kind of just slides right in there and has a little piece at the end and this holds it in nice and secure so when we're pushing through it's we've got a lot of wood between us and the bit which is safer and we've got something that's holding in our piece securely um, you really don't even want to use like little clamps on this because you're going to get really close to the blade and um, as you can see on our bit we're going to be cutting off the top here so let me run one through and I'll show you real quick and that's how we do it. After we've cut our dividers and muttons, it's time to do a quick dry fit. So make sure your fit is nice and clean. You may need to sand down these edges before you glue up because you don't want to have to try and cut that off of the glue later. Um, the other thing is if you've got any sort of a looseness in here, go ahead just recut one real quick. It's not the end of the world. Um, that's basically it. It's a pretty simple procedure, nothing too terrible. And there you have it. A quick and easy way to build a true divided light glass cabinet door using Infinity's two-piece matched rail and style bit sets 
and our glass bit accessory. Please visit the blog for more detailed instructions.